nursery and it is also a welcome change from the normal suji kesari that we we are used to so let's start cooking for making this wheat rava kesari i have taken 200 grams of broken wheat i have taken one cardamom which i have crushed 4 tablespoons of ghee i have taken 200 grams of jaggery and i have taken dry fruits it's of your choice i have here taken almonds and cashew and i have also taken some raisins now before we start the recipe what i'm going to do is to just a half a cup of water i'm going to add my jaggery i love this to just dissolve in this water and we're just going to put it on the stove i love this to melt completely so that later when we add it to the kesari we will be able to strain it and remove any impurities in a hot pan i'm going to add 2 tablespoons of ghee and i'm going to roast my dry nuts once they start turning a little golden in color i'm going to add my raisins as well and saute them till my raisins just balloon up then i know that i've roasted my raisins enough you see that my raisins have all ballooned up now i'm going to remove them and transfer them to another bowl to the same pan i'm going to add my broken wheat and i'm going to saute it for a good 4 to 5 minutes the idea here is i want all my wheat to be coated with this ghee so that when it cooks it's not only delicious but it's also looks so beautiful as i'm roasting the rava you can see that i have placed the jaggery and water on another pan and uh, it is almost melted now the jaggery is completely dissolved in water and i'm just going to put it to the side i'm roasting this for almost 5 minutes now and you can see that each grain is coated with ghee i'm using homemade ghee for this the link for making homemade ghee i will be posting in the description box below and this ghee gives this kesari a uh, even more better taste so now i'm going to reduce my flame and i'm going to add 3 cups of water in the same bowl in which i have taken my broken wheat so i'm going to add this third it one and then i'm going to add the other two you need to remember that i've already used half cup of water to dissolve my jaggery so that's the reason why i'm adding only 3 cups of water now i'll just give it a stir and i'm going to cover and cook it for another 5 minutes after 5 minutes you can see that the rava is well cooked but i would like to stir it for another minute so that the water is absorbed before i add my jaggery the reason being that once i add my jaggery my rava will stop cooking so i'll just stir it for another minute just ensure that the water all dries down before i add my jaggery the water is all dried now so using a strainer i am now going to add my jaggery so then i will start stirring just remember at this time you need to start uh, keep stirring continuously because you don't want any lumps and continue doing that till all this water is absorbed you can now see that the water is all completely absorbed 
and the kesari is so easily leaving the size of the pan so now i'm going to add the remainder of the ghee that i have just give it a stir you can see how the color has changed from golden yellow to golden brown and the ghee is giving it such a beautiful shine and finally i'm going to add my nuts stir it once and switch off the flame allow it to settle down for at least 2 to 3 minutes because when you allow it to rest the flavors are actually enhanced how's 5 minutes now now i'm going to transfer it to a serving bowl after 5 minutes i've transferred uh, the kesari to a serving bowl and you can see it looks so beautiful the smell is inviting and if you like this recipe don't forget to give us a like share and subscribe to sugar and spice bye